हेलो वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाइड सेस क्लासेस माय नेम इज रजत इन दिस क्लास वी वुड लर्न लीनियर रिप्रेशन व्हाई एम आई सेइंग इट्स कनेक्टिंग डॉट्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इट ड्यूरिंग क्लास सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी वुड कवर व्हाट इज लीनियर रिप्रेशन how to perform it in the sas how to check the results and diagnostics and finally how to use those results but first let's learn correlation it's a prerequisite for learning regression let's say in a class a professor is trying to show his students the importance of midterm grades the students are generally interested in final grades but they are not in midterm grades but the professor wants that they should they should score both in midterms as well as final grades he believes that the higher grades in midterm result into higher final grades that's what he believes so for demonstration what he did he took a sample of 15 students he collected their midterm marks and final grades let's say these are the marks then he plotted a x y scatter right well we can see in this x y scatter there is a linear relationship there is a trend it definitely says yes the midterm grades as they move high final grades also go up right the same can be demonstrated using a line chart although x y scatter is a better way to do so excuse me as the midterm grade go high the final term grade also go high and also as they go low final grades go low right hence we can conclude that higher the grades in mid term higher would be final grades and in the term in the language of statisticians and mathematicians we can say there exists a a high correlation that is positive in nature between midterm grades and final grades well does it mean that there is a relationship that is mid higher midterm grade scores result in, into higher final grades well i say no why because correlation doesn't exactly mean causation so there might be two variables numbers that might be very highly correlated right but doesn't mean that one number results into another various types of correlations as you can see the first one is a linear positive correlation second one is linear negative correlation fourth one is curvy linear positive correlation and this is curvy linear negative correlation what do you think about this one well there is no relation no correlation or no relation let's let's understand how a linear regression works so as i said we connect the dots so simple linear regression analyzes linear relationship that exists between y variable that is my dependent variable and x variable that is a independent variable so this is simple linear regression we will then go to multiple linear regression where x variables would be more than one all right so how is, does it work right it draws a line in the data cloud and the data cloud the line is such that it represents the sample it represents the cloud 
hence we connect the dots right so that's what a linear regression does this line can be represented by a mathematical equation y equal to mx plus c where y is dependent variable m is the slope of line x is the independent variable and c is the intercept we can also say intercept is the value of y when x equal to 0 as we can say if x equal to 0 y equal to 0 plus c so the the point where this line touches the y axis so this is this distance is c all right this regression line is also called as line of best fit or least square line we will understand it later this is merely theory you can go through it well let's visualize the and understand it better let's say we have a y axis and x axis we have a line y equal to mx plus c well at x equal to 0 the value of y would be this one so which is nothing but intercept as we move to x equal to 0 to x1 the value of y graduates from c to new value of y that is y1 which is nothing but y1 would be c plus m into x1 so that's how we establish this line well how the dots are connected it's very interesting there is a least square criterion so we can go through theory we can research upon it however this video will help you to visualize the algorithm better so basically what it does in the xy plot it find out the centroid the centroid of the cloud and then it first draws a line through it so that is the point of centroid and then there is a line and it rotates it rotates across the cloud and then it finally stays at the point where the least square criterion is fulfilled so what is the least square criterion well we finally calculate the sum of residuals the sum of residuals at the point so when the line is rotating as we can see the line while it is rotating it is calculating the sum of residuals square and the point at which it finds that to be minimum it stays over there and finally regression line is drawn well this was this was in 2d space you can think of the 3d space and beyond that we can't think actually so we can think in a 3d space there is a data cloud in which a line is there which is rotating and whenever it is passing through the cloud at that point the sum of residuals definitely would be minimum and would finally stay there but how do we represent this line so y equal to mx plus c is just a mathematical notation but how do we understand in terms of business let's say we have a equation y equal to mx plus c that is y equal to 150 plus 60 into x where y is predicted sales x is the dollars that i spend on promotion so the line represents that 60 would be the incremental sales with unit promotion spent so if i 
spend one let's say the unit is million dollar or say thousand dollars so one thousand dollar if i spend i would get 60 again thousand dollar sales so you know unit is very important so based on unit you interpret it so i would say that 150 would be the sales while i spend zero dollars on promotions so that would be my base sales and 60 would be incremental sales while i spend one unit of promotion spend right so that is the business interpretation of the equation